Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Shiny Forehead here, and today we're going to be pushing Sharon. We're going to be pushing Sharon. Can't even say it. We're going to be pushing Sharon to the limit to see what she can do. That damage did not seem like the kind of limit pushing damage, but this will. Now, this is one of the really cool things about Sharon's new uni that I'm highlighting here is that you can charge up the tier 3 a lot faster, and you can actually get it off every second rotation rather than essentially every third rotation. Now, I don't actually like to play Sharon this way. I haven't sort of gotten used to playing her this way. And sometimes the damage is honestly not really worth it. However, I will say this. It's there, which is awesome. On top of it being there and on top of it being awesome, you still have the standard Sharon Rogers rotation, basically standard Sharon Rogers rotation, to utilize and to take advantage of. You got big boy damage, big, big girl damage, I should say. And then, to top it all off you have a much, much stronger second phase. So this is not really something that I was able to highlight. Ooh, ooh, look at that damage. This is not something that I was really able to highlight um, in the previous comparison video, but Sharon Rogers is much stronger. This Sharon Rogers is much stronger in the second phase of Mephisto because she isn't going to get guard broken. Now, you're still going to need to heal sometimes. So sometimes you're still going to need to... Um, let that fifth skill, like, you know, hold that fifth skill. But otherwise, if you don't need to hold that fifth skill, you can basically uh, cancel right into the fourth skill, and with that invincibility, you're laughing. You're sitting pretty. I'm gonna rip that five and just run. She's still a little, she's still a little slow. You know, her legs carrying her around. Oof. And this is stage 34, so you can take a, a ton of damage. But you know what? Sharon dishes it out just as well as she takes it so she's gonna rock it we're gonna do the highest stage of null i should have said this at the beginning of the video we're gonna do the highest stage of null and then the highest stage of mephisto that she can do we're gonna of course try to try to not die here we actually should have held that one see normally i don't hold it because look at that almost four bars of damage gorgeous damage but we actually do want to hold it because damage is amazing you see that we want to hold it because we want to heal we do want that heal. We're actually going to switch here to Iron Man just to keep it safe. Don't want Sharon to die here and be a little bit of a disappointment. Because we're actually doing really, really well. But the fact that you can carry this stage with... Uh, I'm going to do this. The fact that you can carry this stage without... Gorgeous, gorgeous. Without a, a support is awesome. We're going to switch here as well for the uh, dragon. But yeah, so she's basically carrying this with the CTP of energy and my 22% pierce. I don't have 20, I don't have 25% pierce. The, those, those reports were greatly exaggerated. And she has no support in terms of a CTP of insight or anything like that. Iron Man's obviously doing nothing for this team. And Spectrum's just giving her the 35, the 36% attack, 36% uh, ignore dodge. So the ignore dodge lets me use a few more uh, increased damage against villain strikers like Cersei. But other than that, this is a fairly typical uh, setup here. Look at this damage. I don't know why that was so whack. I don't know why she has no way. I, I, <laughs> why was that proc previously so terrible? I don't know. So this is actually kind of a bummer. We can't go ahead and use any skills right now. Because she's going to be one-tapped, right? She's lost 90% of her HP. And she's basically on death's door right now. Even if we got, you know, hit by that, that poison cloud a little bit, we would be sort of toast. Sayonara. So we're going to go like this. Hopefully we don't proc early. But look at this. Even with no accumulation, she's able to pump out the bars. And now we just need to squeak on by. Oh my goodness, that damage is terrible. What is that? But, surprise, because she can charge her tier 3 up fast enough, faster than the old Sharon, it actually counts. So she ends up finishing that with a minute left over, 53 seconds, which means she could clear it even faster with a support character. Again, you could give her, like, let's say, Ebony Maw, right? We didn't, we didn't use Ebony in this video, but I could have, to give, instead of Iron Man, to give an extra 25% damage against Universals, which is Null is, and an extra 25% damage reduction. So she can actually go faster and go higher and further but she crushes this with basically just a lead. And the reason, the other reason why I wanted to show Spectrum is because you could basically argue that you can you could essentially do the same thing with this team, 
with, with a much more accessible leadership. And all you would do is you would sub out Cersei for an extra 20% uh, ignore dodge, and maybe you'd sub out uh, rescue for another, you know, to, to get 80%. That's 80% plus her 30, that's 110 from her CTP of energy, but you basically have both options available to you. So it's basically a bare bones team. It's, a, it's just a leadership, right? It just depends which leadership you have, right? More attack, less ignore dodge, less attack, more ignore dodge. Or you can, you know, you can go with something like Cyclops, for example, not Muso, Cyclops, right? Or you could, you could do something like that. I, I don't know if I would recommend it, right? But then you would substitute out uh, all three of these strikers and you would bring back, let's say, you know, these ones here, right? Because you only you got 50 plus her 30, that's 80. You only need one more. So that was null. Now let's see how she does against a higher state, not a higher stage, against Mephisto. One thing I forgot to mention with the other Sharon Rogers uniform comparison video was that this new Sharon Rogers is actually even better versus Mephisto than she was before. And that is not to say she wasn't good. She was already good against Mephisto, but now she sort of kicked it up a notch. Now, I'm not going to be doing the really frenetic, you know, high paced, cance lots of canceling uh, rotation that I was showing you guys versus Null, where you're really prioritizing getting her tier three out every two rotations. I find that it just, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't like it. it it's, it's not really the essence of Sharon Rogers to me. If you want to do that rotation, go ahead, be my guest. But especially versus uh, Mephisto versus Null, you're actually going to take a lot more damage. You're going to take a lot more chip damage. So you're going to need to hold that five a lot more often and let it play out uh, in order to get the heal. And so you can't really rely on that spazzy rotation. But if you can pull it off, don't get me wrong. If you can pull off the spazzy rotation to pop that tier three faster, the tier three has 100% accumulation rate. So with one hit, it's basically going to accumulate right away. You know, it's going to really accelerate that accumulation. And so she's just going to go like she already does crazy amounts of damage to Null when he uh, lets her accumulate. She's just going to kick that into overdrive, right? Like, look at that. She popped off for just like a second and she popped like over a bar and a half's worth of damage in that brief moment. Now, keep in mind for this run, we are using White Fox. So her damage is obviously top tier here, right? She's getting the, the full maximum. There we go. Somebody died. She's getting the full maximum support that she can get. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to sort of highlight the two sides. Oh, we missed our proc there because we were holding it for the heal. I wanted to highlight the two sides of Sharon because we did the sort of budget build. Now we're doing the, you know, the, the Sharon on steroids kind of thing where she just rips through Null like a hot knife through butter. I think we missed our proc again there too. Perfect. Okay, yeah. Really goof up this video, Sharon. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, we don't want to get hit by that so we're actually going to run and miss our proc on purpose here because that thing will literally kill us at this point but here we have a really good opportunity to pop off some big time damage not bad i don't know why the three didn't pop off we had to do five into three but it doesn't matter <laughs> wow. it does not matter Oh, so she gets interrupted anyways, eh? I was going to say, I thought that the um, the new... Oh, wow, she's getting hammered. I thought that the new fourth skill would give her some protection versus all these stuns. But I guess it doesn't. Which is kind of disappointing. But we do end up making it through. We miss our proc, unfortunately. But she still flies through this stage. Like, we're basically in the, the final home stretch here. And she's just absolutely ripping... She's absolutely ripping him a new one. All right, we healed up there. Sometimes when you heal during a cutscene, it heals you multiple times. I'm not gonna argue. Hey, if the bug works for the players, it works for the players. Oh, I got stunned? Wow. All right, we should pop off hard here because we got hit. Yup, and pop goes the weasel. Oh, wow. Boom, okay, there it kind of worked. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But anywho, I think if you combine it with the um, the little cleansing circle from uh, Ancient One, but there you go, a minute and 50 left. So this is clear indication to me that not only is she able to crush the stage, but with that much time remaining and the fact that I didn't even have a perfect run, she could easily climb up to stage 39 for me without having to use reforged CTPs at all. Yeah, I'm bringing on White Fox for the additional buff, but I don't even have a CTP of Insight here, right? Spread out amongst anyone on the team on uh, Spectrum or on White Fox. So she still has room to grow, which is absolutely crazy. So 
I know this video might be confusing, or I think that this video might be confusing to some of you who are like, Alex, in the previous video that you did on Sharon Rogers, you were saying that this uniform is an upgrade, but it's only like a 10 or 15% upgrade from this uniform. I still think that's the case, but I think that the new opportunities and the new and the new sort of playstyle options that this uniform uh, brings to the table, namely the the you know spamming the one and the two in between the proc like before and after your your regular three five four rotation, allows you to play her in a different way. It's a really frenetic, really fast paced playstyle. I don't personally like it, but it does have very good results if you can master it. And if you can deal with the headache of having to restart now and then because you will miss some procs playing so aggressively but it's really cool to see a character that's what five years old five and a half years old continue to evolve and bring about bring up bring about new play styles right i think it's really really cool so i wanted to highlight that i also wanted to highlight just how high she can go i don't think given how much time i had left that her old uniform can't do those stages by the way i don't think that this uniform would fail on stage 36 of mephisto or stage 34 of null but I do think that this, this uniform can do it faster, mainly because that fourth skill now hits harder and it has the invincibility and it has the lack of iframe. The lack of iframe on her new four means that she's going to accumulate even more. So if you had, like I said, it basically makes her playstyle way easier, right? The, the new Lance Buster. So I think that really highlights, especially the higher and higher you go because you want to get hit but you kind of don't want to get hit so the fact that it gives her that intermittent invincibility gives you still gives you some protection but then it also will absorb some damage in between to really you know punch that uh that accumulation that vanguard lance accumulation into overdrive so yeah i think sharon's still the queen you know it's, it's really no question there but uh i do think this uniform is a big uh, upgrade especially for those of you that are trying to push to high stages which i sort of said as much in my previous video uh, but for those of you who are sort of content where you are you can probably wait until black friday to pick this one up so my opinion hasn't changed i just wanted to highlight how strong she is for end game like true end game you know pushing 30 plus of world boss legend type content thanks so much for watching let me know what you think down below in the comments smash the like button if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one take care